So Korach was upset. They passed him up. He thought, he thought he'd have some position there. So he decided to start a revolution. And what was the banner? There's no room for leadership in Judaism. Everybody's holy. Everyone has his own relationship with Hashem. He knew how to do things. That speaks to the Jew. The conclusion that there's no reason for a structure, for leadership, that was off. But the premise is so right. What's Judaism all about? It's not just being the member of the club. It's developing yourself. It's becoming like the creator. Yes, it's you and Hashem. It's nobody else's business. It's taking responsibility for your character, your understanding, your knowledge. your relationship with others, your responsibility for others. And not just buying in. Just say, I believe and you're okay. Just affiliate, you're safe. You get right through the gates. Have a great place in the world to come. No, it's about building your own greatness. To be measured not by your popularity, your reputation, but by the creator himself, your relationship with him. Korach knew this would appeal to everyone because it's so true. We know it. The essence of what it means to be a Jew is building yourself and your relationship with Hashem, which, by the way, is all one. Becoming godlike in every way. Yeah, in service to Hashem, in the base of Mikdash, different people had different roles. But essentially, what it was about was the individual. It always strikes me. The contrast between the Parsha and the Haftorah. The Parsha is about Korach doubting the need for Kahuna. Starting a movement to abolish the religious leadership.
The Haftorah was the exact opposite. The nation demands a king. Shmuel Hanavi is telling them that that's wrong. Hashem Elokeichem Hu Malkachem. Hashem is your king. What's with us? When it comes to the coin, Why is there a need for a leadership? When it comes to the king, we want a king. What's the role of the king? I mean, it's explicit there. But what's the role of the king? He's first in battle. He takes responsibility for the nation. The king is all about responsibility. You know, a chassim is like a king, it says. Chassim is like a king. You know why he's like a king? He's taking responsibility. He's taking responsibility for his wife, for his family to be. It's not about wearing a crown. It's about being responsible. You see, when it comes to being holy, every Jew says, I don't need anybody else. I can be as holy as can be. When it comes to taking responsibility, we like someone else to do that. For that, we need a king. That's the other way around. Got to understand, when it comes to service of Hashem, there is a hierarchy. When it comes to taking responsibility for the Jewish nation, every one of us has got to do that. So yes, kol ha'ida kulam kadosh. We are all holy. We all have the ability to build ourselves to make for ourselves a relationship with Hashem, to become greater and greater in every way. Yeah, but there's still a need for a religious hierarchy. But in terms of your relationship with Hashem, you don't need anyone else. And what counts, what counts is who you are, and you know the truth. Responsibility is very clear. Everyone's going to take responsibility for themselves and for every other Jew. The Jewish nation needs so much help. Eh, let the rabbis take care of it. No, it's the responsibility of every one of us. We all gotta feel it. Everyone's gotta feel the Jewish nation is crumbling, it's disappearing. Fewer people are willing to stand up and identify Jewish. And where it all comes from is ignorance and what Judaism is. Every one of us has to assume responsibility for that. We've got to care. We've got to feel the pain. We've got to be motivated to look for ideas and see what we can do. That's not a place for a hierarchy. Yes, take responsibility for yourself. Take responsibility for every Jew. 
That's key. Judaism is built on the individual. Not enough to just be a member. You've got to take full responsibility yourself. That's why it sounded so good when Korah was trying to dissolve the leadership. Because in reality, it's up to the individual. We're not Korahs. We respect the hierarchy. But when it comes to responsibility, everyone's a king. Don't wait for anyone else. Feel the pain. See what you can do. Think of ideas. Of course, it's more powerful when we work together. But the responsibility is that of every single individual. Remember that. Remember that. That's what it means to be a Jew.